We were tasked with restoring this classic go-kart van and we only had a week to do it, so we called in our friends and got to work. Double trees. We just picked up this awesome little vintage van go-kart. We kind of have a thing for vans. We're gonna restore this bad boy. It's got, you know, some body damage. Somebody, you know, drifted a little too hard, slid against the wall, or tried to pull up whatever that NASCAR driver's name is, move. We've got some upgraded steering components for it. We got a little itty bitty rack and pinion. Isn't that the cutest little rack and pinion you've ever seen? It's pretty cool. It's got like little miniature drag slicks, and it even has a parachute. It's just got like a spring in there. So you just like pack it all in there and then like squish it in. And then you, I guess you pull a little cord or something and it just goes boink and the parachute flies out. That's the um, biggest sprocket ever. It is, it's massive. But I mean, these are pretty beefy tires. If we get it running, we could send it today and test yeah. out the chute I if know, we had dude. a chain. I wanna test out the chute so bad. I've been thinking about putting a chute on my daily driver just to slow down oh, sometimes. Oh, really? will love that. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, I gotta slow down and just launch a parachute out the back would be so, so The droid we're looking for. Oh, the chain's gonna be so. Oh, the chain's gone. Yeah, but if it's gone, that means it's somewhere. Yeet. Where did that even come from? Maybe. Hey, you found something? Yeah, I, I think so. In the timing. I reached in the chain bucket and just pulled something out, and it <laughs> looks exactly close. We need to see if we need to order some fresh hubs. I was thinking, oh yeah, well, we'll just see if these hubs fit on it. This car is frozen into the ice. It's so heavy. We want to finish this van this week. We're gonna to have to borrow a few parts. Ethan shows you the steering rack that we're gonna put on here, but you can see why it's so important. Look at this is the current situation. Oh, wow. And those tie rods are just so flimsy. And look at look that. Look at all the play. There's like, oh, look at all these bonus washers. We that can buy those. Bonus do we need to buy new spindles or not? We do not. I mean, nice. they're pretty standard stuff usually, so. Oh, oh that was like so much better with the front slit, the rear yeah. slits too. Yeah. Now let's just go find the bare aluminum ones to match the uh, yeah. original yeah. look. Let's they should it. be out in the pile, the big pile behind the green shed. Time to dig in the snow. I mean, I've known Ethan for a long time and he's always had this. We've been working here every day for like three years. I didn't realize the rafters of the garage were sticks before. It's holding up like three feet of snow right now. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, time for a treasure hunt. What if they're just like right on top and we're getting all excited to dig for wheels? This tire is here of some sort. Ooh. Oh, see, these ones are black. Huh? Oh yeah. That's perfect for what we're looking for. That's it. Nice. Their very first build on the channel. We used these wheels, then we upgraded to these. They're lighter, had more rubber on them. When we did the top speed run, we didn't want to go like 70 on these tires. We went 75 on these. use physics to your advantage. Man, these are really cool hubs. Yeah, they are. Like, where did they even find something like this? That'll work. Wow. I'll uh, get the other one. Clearly those 
tires are not tight. <laughs> That's not <laughs> That is look. hilarious. The fronts are too wide. The rears are too, too small. Small. We gotta fill in these holes here. We have a fiberglass kit to do that. Oh, I'm sure it'll cure real well at 15 <laughs> degrees. That, that shows you how cold it is in the shop. Yeah, it gets- Fire's been raging for hours. Yeah. This is still ice. It is satisfying cutting this stuff. It's not satisfying getting it off of you, but... And then, can't want them all. That, that should fill in the, the gap a little bit. Hey, that's actually like a perfect stir stick. That's amazing. Trying to keep this stuff as warm as possible. Yeah, it's a struggle today. I think it's down to like 10 degrees outside. Yeah. It's actually dropping. No. Drizzle a little bit on there. I don't know if I like that smell. It's not a great one. It wakes me up. It kind of smells like a hair salon. salon. That's not good. It smells like a hair salon. <laughs> Wait, why did you taste Loctite? Well, I put it on a bolt and then I had to go get something. So I put the bolt in my mouth like I usually do to like remember where it is. And I was like, I was like, honestly, tastes good. Like, that concerns I, me, Will. I don't know if that was their plan, but it tastes good. Like I could roll around with some Loctite in my pocket. Will, you are a <laughs> lunatic. Will, you're a menace to society. <laughs> Hello, my name's Swindle Willie, but some may know me as a big fan of O'Reilly Auto Parts. They have oil, batteries, brake clean, and so much more to help you fix your car. They also have window wipers. I have to replace these almost every single day because I have a turbo sticking out my hood and it melts them to my windshield. What else is in those back pockets? You got your phone in there? Oh! Pretty rare to see Ethan wear gloves. Yeah, that is true. Sometimes when I'm welding, and in cases where I'm getting covered in sticky goo. Oh, so satisfying. Not hard enough to sand yet, but we got some little air bubbles in there, but we'll sand it. And then uh, once we can flip this thing back over, we'll sand it down and body filler it and sand it and make it look like there was never anything there. This one kind of sagged a little bit. Our tape mold didn't really quite do the trick. So I'm just gonna add another little layer in there just to make that extra thick so that when we sand down the top side to make it flat, we don't remove all of our structural integrity. Woke up this morning to a moose nibbling on the shrubbery. I was trying not to scare him off, but well, she, whatever. There goes the moose. Things you'll have in North Idaho on a frosty December morning. Bye, moose. Safety Willie today. Safety Willie. The uh, honestly, I sanded without safety stuff a little bit yesterday, and it was like not premium at all. So I'm. Fully safety up. Got three hoodies on, got the mask on, got the glasses on. Mm, yum. 
dumb. This thing's gonna steer so nice. It's actually kind of nice having the U-joints in there because I can change the uh, position of everything easily. The steering wheel can actually be a little more vertical instead of horizontal. I was wandering around the shop looking and thinking about how I was going to mount this and what to use. And then just sitting right in front of me was the perfect thing. These are like lock rings for a one inch keyed axle. I wonder if those fit on this. And look at that. They fit wow. perfectly. That's one inch tubing. So that's perfect because now I can just make a little bracket that welds to the bottom half of this and welds to the frame right here. One on each side. And then not only is the steering rack easily removable, but also adjustable. At this point, it's faster to design little things like this on the computer and cut them out than it is to make them by hand, I, especially when you need two of them. And this way, they're exactly the same. Steering. Clamps off. And, uh, it's not, like, it's sharp enough to shave with, so. Hey, yo. Sam ran out of firewood a little bit early this year, so he came over to swindle a tree. I was telling Sam that I've been chopping down trees with an axe for a while <laughs> for entertainment, and he said he thought that sounded like fun, so. Sam's my been, idea of a good time out here. Sam's first tree he's ever cut down Woo! with an axe. This is my, like, I don't know, manyth. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well. <laughs> we chopped it all now the way Now we gotta through. chop it down a second time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Double trees. It's 20 this morning when we got up, which is the coldest it's been in 20 years or so. So Will and I are jammed up as close as we can get to the wood stove. You have to be standing about here to be properly warm. But if warm. you stand here, you're you'll on fire. literally catch on yeah. fire. Yeah, there's a fine line between on fire, frozen. A little more sanding, um, whoever did the clear coat on this. Uh, I think they had some bugs in there. Yeah, they had like some bugs or something. <laughs> so there's a ton of little like, dimply things on the top of this that I'm going to remove so they don't show up in the wrap. Because we're not a body shop here. <laughs> we don't have all the right sanding blocks and, you know, right tools. But what we do have, some sanding pads for the random orbital sander and a piece of used radiator hose. You roll it up like a little burrito. And then you've got yourself a nice rounded Sanding burrito. What we like to call a radiator hose and a blanket around these parts. <laughs> I never throw anything away. So I have these little mounts. I don't even remember what they're for. They're like a motor mount for maybe a snowmobile or I don't know, something like that. Look how squishy that is. That adds a lot of movement so that the, pla the uh, fiberglass is less likely to break. Well, well, well. Got window material. I wanted these mounts to go back a little bit. Put big crescent wrench on there. Even bigger crescent wrench on here. Then this back to flat. Now in theory, we've moved that back like a quarter inch.
and <laughs> snap! Whoops. <laughs> oh, that's a satisfying that's noise. Satisfying. Mm. Flex and windshield. So we haven't quite figured out how we're going to attach it in there. These are from the 500 Sports Quad powered Camaro power wheels. You can see these holes are not circle anymore. I think we're making a little more power than the studs could handle. The one thing I know about go-karts and drag racing this is gonna go fast enough for that parachute to work. <laughs> Nice and shiny. I'd say it's time for um, time to hang it up, wipe it down, and paint it. Time to load it up in the truck and take it to CW Wraps so that it can look exactly like the original O'Reilly van. It's basically 3M gloss hot rod red, so that's what we're gonna use. Looks good to me. What really brought this project all together was the amazing wrap job by Sammy at CW Wraps in Post Falls, Idaho. This is the coolest wrap I've ever seen on a go-kart. We took it to the convention. It was a smashing hit. Everybody loved it. We made some great new friends, had a great time. And between our restoration and CW Wraps' amazing job matching the graphics, this thing looks exactly like a blast from the past. Yep, we made it here, the van made it here, putting on the finishing touches. 
Shamrock license plate. Everything else is so perfect on the van. Yeah, I'm no Sam. There's the slogan. There's the jingle. <laughs> there it is. Ow!